welcome to my youtube channel and welcome to my favorites i have so many amazing products that i want to share it with you and i'm so excited about this video because i just love them so so much and you know well that on this channel i only recommend things that i believe in and i love and i would like you to try to use it as well and i hope they're going to help you maybe simplify your life a little bit as well not to be searching for unnecessary things that are not going to work and spend your money on something that you don't have to so i hope you're going to enjoy all of them let me know in comments below which one is your favorite so without further ado let's start so first I'm going to share it with you, hair product. So this is a styling cream from Larry Keen and I've only discovered it recently. I've heard about the brand a lot and it comes with the brush like this one. I already have a little bit of product on it. So what this styling cream does is just perfect if you have any flyaways um, like that. It just tame them up a little bit but it's still with the natural results. It's not a strong hold, it's just kind of maybe medium hold. It's not too greasy as well. Um, you will feel that gently the, you have a little bit of product, but once you brush your hair, actually that feeling disappears very quickly. So it's, if you can use it really, really, I love it the most around my hairline to make it a little bit more sleek and tidy. And you have seen um, my Reese video where I have um, like middle part actually hairstyle and that's what I've used it to create that really really kind of sleek hairline so I'm loving it this product you might have to still use hairspray after because um, just to kind of make sure that everything stay in place apparently it's very good as well if you have a curly hair and you have a frizzy hair I feel it's the best for your hairline and maybe some part of it to kind of tame the flyaways and still look natural the dress that I'm wearing today is from the Couples and I apologize, the fabric is a more like a bed linen. It's very unusual fabric and I love the dress but I never recommend it because of the fabric. Um, so I never recommend it to you but I love the style of this dress. However, it makes a lot of noise so I apologize. I will try to not move my arms too much. <laughs> This product I've only bought recently and it's a new eyeshadow palette from Charlotte Tilbury and this one is called Pretty Blushed Beauty. I'm just going to cover a mirror over here so it won't have any reflections. So as you can see there's a lot of product here and this is your bronzer, this is your face powder, um, your blusher, highlighter and three eyeshadows. And I'm actually wearing this makeup on today. So as you can see it's really a beautiful and natural. Description on the website it says it's pink um, kind of blushy colors. I personally think it's more on the coral side and I love that about it. I love pink uh, eyeshadow palettes as well and I would love to Charlotte Tilbury create something like that within beautiful pretty pinks but personally I feel um, this blusher is more in the coral side and but any, anyway I love everything about it. So um, this one is quite strong glitter eyeshadow, not my favorite but it's lovely for the evening if you prefer like really strong um, strong glitter eyeshadows on the eyelid where this one is beautiful bronze shimmer and matte bronze. I've also used these two products which is highlighter and coral um, on my eyelids today because of course you can play around with the palettes like that. The bronzer is definitely a, about medium shade, it's not a light shade, but you can use it easily for lovely contouring. And it's quite, it's a medium shade in the powder. So it's perfect for a fair skin tones. I would be more on like three and a half, number three in foundation numbers, uh, let's say from Giorgio Armani or Charlotte Tilbury, just to give you an idea. And to have a one palette, with everything nearly in it, apart from, of course, the lipstick, that you can bring it with you on holidays or little kind of weekend breaks if you have. I just love that. So I hope, Charlotte Tilbury, can you please create um, Pillow Talk in just palette like that as well, or something a little bit lighter than Pillow Talk if it's possible, so I can just bring two palettes with me on the weekends away and not worry about anything. But continue with the makeup, I've also, just by pure luck, I've purchased new lipstick and it works with this incredibly well and I'm wearing this lipstick today. So this one is called Miss Kensington and it looks completely different on the lips than actually when you look at the lipstick itself and definitely when you're looking on the website. On the website it looks like baby pink and that's what I was going for. But Pure luck, actually, it happened that it's a beautiful corally shade again, but it's quite natural as well. And it works amazingly with my favorite, favorite 
Pink Venus Lip Liner from Charlotte Tilbury also. So they, both of them I have it on today as well and they work incredibly well with this palette. So Miss Kensington I think was sold out for a while but it came back recently in stock and I'm so happy with it. Really, really delighted. So let me know if you want me to create a full makeup if you want to see how I am applying and using this makeup palette, let me know. I know I'm not the makeup artist. I'm just a makeup lover, just like you guys, and experimenting as much as I can and learning so much down the line. But, oh, I just love it. And I, I'm pretty sure you're gonna love it as well. And convenience of it that you can bring it just to one, basically palette with you on holidays and still look amazing. So, next item that I wanna share it with you is Something that I've used before, and you have heard me um, talking about this product before, but I'm, I've actually stopped using it and I came back to use it again. So these are, of course, two Revita Lash and Revita Brow products. So my brows, which you see today, is actually nearly 96-98% my own brows. And if you look at my previous videos, even Ree's video and all the other ones video, I have a quite good bit of makeup on and um, on my brows so this time I just feel after only about a month and a half of use Revita brow my brows are just changed completely for the eyelashes it's gonna take longer and I remember last time as well it took it, it took probably about three months for my eyelashes to look long and amazing so I'm still waiting for the results but the brows, you're gonna see results very, very quickly. You have to use it every single day. And if you stop using it, then unfortunately, um, about three to six weeks, your brows will go back where they were. So this, you have to treat that as like your face cream, for, <laughs> for example. You have to use it every single day, just only once a day. Definitely don't use it twice a day. There's no need for it once a day. And I hope you're gonna have a beautiful brows. Believe me, I naturally don't have a great hair or great brows. Um, so this is just amazing and I'm just absolutely delighted with it. So once you're applying for about six, seven, eight weeks, then apply a color. If you dye in your brows, um, apply the color and you're going to see a huge difference because the regrowth usually is very light. It could be a little bit blonde as well, a little bit fine. So once you apply the color um, to dye your brows, it's just, oh, you're going to see amazing, amazing results. And I'm really happy. I hope you like them as well. I hope you like the look of full brows. But what else I've used as well, I just, because they're growing and they're quite long, I need to tame them as well and just keep them in place. And this is my absolutely all-time favorite brow gel that I can't live without anymore. This is 24-hour brow setter from Benefit. I've mentioned that product before as well, but it is, it's gonna be my yearly favorite, definitely. And the secret is in the gel and also in the brush. There's three different sides of it, as you can see, and three different bristles. So short bristle, long bristle, and the flat side. And the flat side will let you to create that very flat, more like a laminated brow look, where the longer part, it keeps them more fluffy, and the short part just gives them that kind of lovely direction wherever you want them to go. What amazing product. However, if you're using it, it's gonna take a while to learn how to use it, but play with the brush, use each side differently, flatten them with the flat part, and you get that lovely laminated brow effect. Last, long day all day long it's really really strong gel therefore if please apply it before you, you apply foundation because you might create a little bit of like a cross effect here which doesn't look nice so i highly recommend it to use it before you use your foundation but love it if you like that kind of look of course or if you want to tame your brows a little bit better this is amazing and i've tried many many different brow gels and this is so so far the best <laughs> Next is, what a lovely name, a Fairy Godmother product from Sunday Riley. This is a very new product from Sunday Riley. And what it is, it's a dry oil body shimmer. But also it, con it contains vitamin C and Q10, the gardenia extract. So apart from caring from the skin and of course give you this beautiful and golden glow, it has a lovely and small particle, so it does not gonna give you this 
kind of glittery effect it's it's more like a sheen especially when you use it as an oil and it stays on the skin forever until you wash it what a lovely product and I love the smell of it so the fact that it will care for my skin as well and I get instant glow when we want to show our legs and arms and shoulders for the summer this is just a perfect it's um, I have a few products before and I just love the idea that it's also take care for my skin and I love a name and everything about it. So lovely product from Sunday Riley, highly highly recommended. So this is a tiny little sample that was a gift when I was buying the product that I'm going to show you in one second and it's of course from Espa. So Espa has the, one of the most amazing body products and oils, however I did not see anything like that in the collection so I bought it from Sunday Riley. So this is actually soothing bath and body oil, so it's a very beautiful relaxing smell Every nearly product from Espa has a different scent in it, essential oils, they of course beautiful and natural, but this one I think I like the most from all of them. So I'm thinking of buying a full collection, first of all buy the big size of this product, but also um, buy like a pillow spray and also, I'm using a lot of words also, I apologize for that, essential oils for this product. So what it is, it's actually essential oil diffuser from Espa and I just need to describe it for you. It's absolutely incredible and lovely. This is my first diffuser and I'm just never going to change it to anything else. So what you have to do, basically this is a glass top that you take it down and inside there's a plastic little like a container. So there's a water inside over here. Then we just place the cap on it and then the glass cover on top. And sits just nice and gently. Now there's the two buttons. First one, uh, camera probably won't gonna show properly, but there's just a little light on the bottom, and it's so soft and delicate for your bedroom. If you press it again, the light just turned down a little bit. So you have a two different lights on it, and we can turn it off after. So the next, this button, you have a two settings of this um, essential oil diffuser to get. Look at that. I hope you see it, it's just so beautiful. And it's not hot as well. It's water heat up just um, maybe that kind of medium. You can still put your finger in that water, but when you're actually touching it, it feels more like a cold water, like a tiniest mist ever. It looks actually, it's so tiny that it looks like a smoke, but it is a water mist. So on the first setting, it lasts about four hours and you can use any essential oils. I'm just gonna leave it here can see a beautiful smoke. <laughs> you can use any essential oils, it doesn't have to be from Espa. So I, for example, are using today lavender oil and you just add a few drops um, to the container inside where you, when you put in the water and within the minutes you have a beautiful scent. So you can use um, lemon um, as well. I just a lemony kind of and lime um, essential oil just for a freshness and it's just incredible. I am planning to buy Espa essential oils and I did purchase it however they did not have it in stock so I'm still waiting for it to arrive but it's one of my favorite the best purchases for uh, our home and I just love it in our bedroom love it for the light and also this a beautiful diffuser it makes a little bit of noise just a little bit so it's not something that you necessarily gonna sleep by um, I would use it definitely before I fall asleep so I hope you like all those products. Um, thank you so much for watching and being here. Let me know, would you like to see a review of something else? Which one are your favorite as well? Are you planning to buy any of those products? Do you have them? Maybe you use them and what do you think about them? So thank you so much for watching, for being here and I will see you in my next video.